Podcast. Welcome to our first concept TV. Headline I know that Adamu is still venting his anger on the coming of Tunumbu as APC flag barrel. Gololo. A chief ten of the All Progressive Congress, Dr. Garus Gololo, has reacted to the recent rejection of the House leader by the national chairman of the party, Senator Abdullah Adamu. We call that Senate, Senate President Goswil Akpabio and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Tadudin Abbas, announced the names of the principal officers yesterday during the plenary. Reading to the development, Dr. Gololo further said it is appealing that Senator Abdu, Abdullah Adamu, who was never the choice of the party stakeholder before he became the party chairman, can be this dangerous to the party. We all know he was he was handpicked by uh, Maman Daru in orders to emerge, and it was a very painful thing that such a man who was not a stakeholder's choice should now turn against the party with cross misconduct. He added, We are also not happy because so many of us are not being sensitive to Adamu's outburst and indifferent to the party's decision. And I also know that he is still venting his anger on the coming of Bola Metunubu as the APC flag bearer during the primaries and subsequently emerging president of the nation. Decision and I also know that he is still venting his anger on the coming of Bola Metunubu as the APC flag bearer during the primaries and subsequently emerging president of the nation. So he, re- he so his rejection of the outcome of the National Assembly leadership election is another slap to the party's hereditary. It is it is direct fr- a frontal to the former APC Brother of Trustees member stated further, so his rejection of the outcome of the National Assembly leadership election is another slap to the party hereditary. It is a direct affront to those who have overlooked. A chief ten of the All Progressive Congress, Dr. Garus Gololo, has reacted to the recent rejection of the House leader by the National Chairman of the Party, Senator Abdullah Adamu. We call that Senate, Senate President Goswil Akpabio and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Tadudin Abbas, announced the names of the principal officers yesterday during the plenary. Reading to the development, Dr. Gololo further said it is appealing that Senator Abdu, Abdullah Adamu, who was never the choice of the party stakeholder before he became the party chairman, can be this dangerous to the party. We all know he was he was handpicked by uh, Maman Daru in orders to emerge, and it was a very painful thing that such a man who was not a stakeholder's choice should now turn against the party with cross misconduct. He added, "We are also not happy because so many of us are not being sensitive to Adamu's outburst and indifferent to the party's decision, and I also know that he is still venting his anger." on the coming of Bola Metunubu as the APC flag bearer during the primaries and subsequently emerging president of the nation. Decision and I also know that he is still venting his anger on the coming of Bola Metunubu as the APC flag bearer during the primaries and subsequently emerging president of the nation. So he, re- he so his rejection of the outcome of the National Assembly leadership election is another slap to the party's hereditary. It is, it is direct fr- a frontal to the former APC Brother of Trustees member stated further, so his rejection of the outcome of the National Assembly leadership election is another slap to the party hereditary. It is a direct affront to those who have overlooked. All right, viewers, you have listened to today's news. Issues um, in APC. I know that Adamu is still venting his anger on the coming of Sunubu as ABC flag, but there is no party that does not have their own issues and all that there is no party so um they are um um, they're actually saying that um the man is really angry for the fact that tunubu was the flag barrel for apc is really really that and that is still venting his anger on the coming of tunubu as apc flag barrel he's really really angry we don't know why maybe he you know everybody has their own choice they have their own mind they have the person they want to pick but they will not um you know this this part of a thing is it's not just one person it's it's a group of people so the majority 
um carries the vote so even if he picks one person and everybody is choosing the other person there is nothing he can do so now um gololo is still saying that adamu is still angry that they should be extremely very very careful okay um we have some comments here um let's read what people actually say somebody else says they should be give, they should be grateful that tunubu was the flag bearer otherwise apc would have lost the election somebody else says um he and Buari wanted Atiku. That is their game plan, but it all failed. Hmm. But they said it was obvious they never wanted to know and it's dangerous to the Asuaju presidency renting him as chairman of the APC. Now that is what they're actually saying that him making him making um, um Adamu the chairman of APC is actually wrong. That he's still angry. That is what Gololo is trying to say. That Adamu is still angry for the fact that. Tunumbu was made the flag barrel of APC. So they were not expecting him to be the flag. They, the majority don't like him. And it's, you know, they're not saying that the fact that he made him um, the chairman of the party does not mean anything, that he is still angry. All right? Okay, somebody here says Adamu should be sacked immediately. What they say, Tun President Tunumbu is the facto leader of the APC now. No need for f no need for the national chairman of APC to quarrel with Tunumbu. What they says, we all know that Amechi was Adamu's first choice and um, Lawan his second choice. Tunumbu was never in his plan, but sometimes things doesn't work the way it was um, it was planned. Well, that's true, that's true. But um, I pray that um, Tunumbu is wise enough to know those that are for him those that are against him you understand somebody else says you are very correct mr gololo but they said adamu hold cohort will fail woefully what he said adamu is only pretending to love tunubu now that the aina gave him the election uh, somebody here says tunubu can never govern this country his elect election rigged and uh manipulation what he says he should be replaced sap somebody here says by his age and experience in politics I expected him to know better. Why are you fighting against your president? It, is it that this level that he should be playing such a game? He will lose and have nothing. Somebody says Tunubu is just waiting for the right time to throw him overboard. He will return to his PDP. Well, they know they know Adamu. They know what he can do. So the people are really saying that he should that Tunubu shouldn't have allowed him still stay around since he knows at earlier stage that. Um, Adamu was not in support of the fact that the, he was the it was the it was the, it was the APC flag boy that was picked for the presidential election. It was the one that they elected that he should be the president. You understand? So and um, they should, that Tunubu should be extremely careful how he's working with um, Adamu. And people are saying that he should even sack him. There's no need to keep him. He should sack him since he's, he's not in support of him. At earlier stage, well, we don't know what Nubu have in mind. Well, let's see how the tenure goes. All right, viewers, we have come to today's news. Please do watch about the comment section. Let's know what your views are. Thank you for listening.